again, Sunday J Clubbers. I hope you're all well. It's really good to be back with you. This week, we're going to be looking at forgiveness and what Jesus taught us about how many times we should forgive someone when they do something that hurts us in some way. So before we start, why don't we say a prayer? Lord God, help us to understand how good it feels to forgive and to be forgiven. Help us to remember that you will forgive us again and again. Amen. Maybe before you hear the story, you can talk to someone near you, a grown up or your brother or sister or a friend, about what you think forgiveness means. And what does it feel like when we are forgiven, when someone says, that's okay, I forgive you. Have you ever forgiven someone for really hurting you? And did you find it easy to do? Have you ever said or thought, I'll forgive you, but just this once. It's when you let go of some of the, your anger and bitterness to them and can, to somebody who's done something like against you and you say sorry and forget about it. It means that somebody says something hurts you or something against you or so does something wrong. If they say sorry, you normally say, I forgive you. If you don't, that would be a bit mean, but you normally know, that's what forgiveness is. I've forgiven my friends a lot, and my sister a lot, and my parents a lot. <laughs> when somebody pinched me, I had to forgive them for doing it. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not, but they might stomp off and not listen to you. And then you can't really say it, so you've got to say it when they're in a better mood, when it's the next day, when it's like forgotten about. In this week's story, we're going to hear what Jesus said about how many times we should forgive somebody. To help me remember the answer, I made something. I took a strip of paper like this and I folded it seven times like that and then I cut it at the bottom and at the top and what I ended up with was a strip of seven hearts. Maybe you could try making one too and then hold it as you listen to the story from Elizabeth who's reading from Matthew chapter 18. Today's passage is from Matthew 18. Peter said to Jesus, how many times should I forgive someone when they do wrong things? Should I only forgive them seven times? Jesus replied, not just seven times, you should forgive them every time they do something wrong. Jesus went on to say, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted his servants to repay the money they owed him. One man owned 10,000 bags of gold, but he could not pay it back. The king ordered him and his family to sell everything they owed to repay the debt. The servant begged, please give me more time and I will pay everything back. The king took pity on him and let him go. But the servant was owed a hundred silver coins by another servant and he demanded that the other man paid them back. He grabbed and choked the man and told him to pay him the money back. The servant begged, please give me more time and I will pay it all back. The first servant threw the man in prison, but the other servants were outraged and told the king what had happened. The king ordered the servant to meet him. He said, I cancelled all your debt because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have treated the other man in the same way that I treated you? The king ordered the servant to go to prison until he paid the money back. 
Jesus said, this is how God will treat each of you, unless you forgive others with all of your heart. So the two questions to think about today are what is Jesus telling us in this passage? And have you ever been unfair or unkind to someone while others have treated you better? So Jesus said we should forgive someone not just seven times, but 70 times seven. And he didn't mean we should keep count exactly, but that we should forgive somebody again and again. Here's another easy thing you can do to help you remember that. Take a jar and a lid. And on the lid, stick seven grains of rice. That represents the number of times Peter thought you should say that you forgive someone. And then with the jar, fill it up with all the other grains of rice. I wonder how many grains of rice there are in that jar. So the rice on the outside represents how Peter suggested we should forgive, while all that rice on the inside represents what Jesus said, how many times he said we should forgive. So if someone does something to you that makes you mad and you don't feel like forgiving them, you can look at the jar and be reminded about what Jesus said we should do. So let's close today with a prayer. Help us, Lord, to always remember and to forgive as you forgave us again and again and forever. Amen. Thank you.